Argy Makies, it be an old Pirates Super Bowl 37. We're going to have the Oakland Raiders up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And given the fact that video games have come so close to emulating real life, we just thought we'd check and see how accurate they are. So we took three of the hottest football games available and ran the two teams against each other. And if these games are any indication, we're in for one hell of a Super Bowl. First, the two squads squared off on Microsoft's NFL Fever 2003 for the Xbox. The Buccaneers struck first, but the Raiders quickly answered with a strike to Tim Brown. The Wiley veteran then scored again to put the Raiders up by a bunch. The Bucs tried to mount a comeback, but a costly Brad Johnson interception put the game on ice. Raiders win and go up one game to none. Next up, Madden 2003 for the GameCube. The game started out slow as a honey-covered snail with a rapid exchange of field goals that left the Raiders up 6-3. to three. The kick sails through the upright. But at the end of the half, the Bucks scored a touchdown to take a 10-6 lead. After a time-consuming touchdown drive to open the second half, all the Raiders had to do was hold on to the football and run out the clock. But the opportunistic Bucs defense stripped the ball and returned it for a touchdown for an astonishing 17-13 victory. Touchdown, Buccaneers. With our series tied at one game apiece, it all comes down to one final game of Sega's NFL 2K3 for the PlayStation 2. The Raiders took an early 10-0 lead on a touchdown pass to Jerry Rice, but Keyshawn Johnson followed it up with a touchdown grab of his own. He scored a touchdown off of it. After another touchdown exchange, watch, right by the defender. The Bucks desperately tried to get into field goal position to tie the game, but it was not meant to be. Raiders win. Raiders take the game and the series. And no, we're not fudging the results just because we're based in the Bay Area. Now, can you take these results to the bank? Probably not. But there's always the bookie.